So this is the Hayward Power Flow Matrix Pump. Lid pops right off. Basket comes out. Now what I want to do is I want to rotate this because I've got the the pump going up and this actually rotates to the side. But in order to do that, I got to pull this off. And if we look right inside of the pump here, we can see right here, oh yeah, this thing is heavy. There's a pin. It's a big, large pin. It, it just pops right up. You just grab the top of it, pull it up, it releases. This is all it is, it's a little horseshoe pin. So you just got to give it a little bit of a pull and it will separate. This connects right onto the end. There's a rubber gasket right here that you can see right on the end and it seats perfectly right on this rubber gasket. So now that this is removed, let's push this back over here. To do the rotation, there's a little press point that is not that easy to find, but it's right here. It's pretty straightforward. Right here. This, you should be able to press with your finger. I find it tough to press, so I use a screwdriver. Just stick it right in there, adjusting this. And if you turn it the way I'm turning it, you'll see it'll, it'll release. And now the whole, the whole top will actually very easily rotate. And then you got to rotate it all the way to the side and it should click into position. You can kind of give it a little slam. It'll click into position, make sure it's locked. That's essentially it. Okay, so then all you do is put this back exactly the same way we want it to be up. So it's gonna be popped on pretty much exactly like that. You're gonna push it gently back into position, you'll hear it kind of click into place. And then again, we're looking right at where this little, this little piece gets clicked on. Make sure that inside there, you have enough clearance to click it on. This should slide right in and then you're good. If it doesn't slide right in, you'll have to reseat this part of the, the unit, make sure it's flat. And if you look at the way this connects right here, the way this connects, these should be very close to the screws. If it's not, you're probably not seated right. If it's a new unit, it's gonna seat very easily though to do this. And that's it. That is how you do the rotation on one of the Hayward Power Flow Matrix pumps. Our union connection done. We're gonna go to the pool, seat it where it's gotta be seated, and then just put it right together. Okay, so now we got the pump out here, and we're going to go ahead and install the pump at the location site, which is right over here. Right here, and you can see right inside of here, you got the union right here. It's going to connect this up the way we need to. Super simple. Let's make sure this is clean and smooth. position the pump pretty much right where it needs to be. Perfect. I'm not going to do the screws that are right down below here. I'm going to hold off on getting those going until I get the union started. This way this can be really positioned where it's got to be. And then we'll let the union draw it right into the final position that it wants to be in gently wiggling, just gently. Let's make sure that we're grabbing really gently. That's it. I got the channel locks. I believe they'll do the job. Oh, 
And this doesn't have to be incredibly tight because you have that rubber gasket. If it's pretty solid, you're going to be fine. And then on the far end, I'm just realizing I didn't put it on yet. We have to put right here, coming out this end, there is a hose attachment that we need. Okay, so now our goal is to get this piece in here. It just screws in, like I was talking about before. I've already cleaned the threads off of it, and now I'm just going to put a little dope on here. And I've already cleaned those out. And I'm going to stick some dope right inside here. So that's coated on both surfaces. When we install, we only do it once. Many's the time I've not put enough dope on something I'm looking to install, and you just got to redo it. It's always frustrating. Hand tighten this as much as you can with your hand. And that might actually be enough, but I'm going to go ahead and come back in with my channel locks. Get a good grip, hold this down, because you don't want to put a lot of pressure on the union over here. So hold this down, give it a little more of a turn. And if it's moving easy, you can keep going. This is moving pretty easy. Once it seats, though, you're done. You don't want to over tighten this. That's it. We're seated, we're done.